All right, so I'm in the office, and as you know, recently I've been reducing a lot of the things I own. If you haven't followed along, by the way, I'm gonna post um, right up here in somewhere up here, you will see a link um, that has a video down to the one like less than 100 things that I own. Check out that video. And this has been a journey for me about uh, reducing the amount of stuff that I have. It's, it's been a process over the past uh, few years, but also it's been very helpful to a lot of other people that have been very interested in this topic. So maybe it will inspire you as well, all right? So the next thing I wanted to share with you in this video is about um, some of the things I've started doing. For example, I'm on my second week of not carrying a wallet all right, so for many years, probably since the age I was like 15 or 16 years old, I had a wallet in my pocket, wallet for cash, wallet for cards, wallet for IDs, and I've completely, this is the second week, I've completely gotten rid of my wallet, um, which now I'm thinking about, I mean, do I really need to carry my wallets around or own them, right? So now I'm second guessing my wallet. So Nathan, what have you done? How come you don't have a wallet? Well, I've decided to um, move all my, uh, my cards, my IDs, my payments, how I pay for things all on my phone. Now, this has been a dream and a desire for me for many years because uh, I've looked at the way China has done things and I've admired that and they've been contactless payments for like 10 years. So I really like that. But then now ever since COVID has hit and more people are you know, not carrying cash and also being here in the Azores, they have uh, contactless payments almost everywhere. Like literally 98% of the places have contactless payments, which is awesome. And I choose to support those places and you know visit those places for, as a customer. Um, so that has allowed me to remove the whole wallet scenario. Okay, which has been great. Now, other than that, I also did another video, which you can check out maybe at the end of this video. It's where I do the Mac mini review, or maybe I'll just post it up here as well. It's the Mac mini review. I recently switched over to a Mac mini and I have uh, I've also given away my MacBook Pro laptop. So currently, I don't even own a laptop anymore, which is crazy to me. I've owned, uh, I've had laptops for over 10 years. Um, and I remember the first time I bought a laptop with my own money, I was 18 years old. <laughs> I remember this and uh, I remember still the, the AOL, um, what do you call it, dial up modem. It was just crazy, but that was my first laptop that I bought. And so I've been owning laptops for over 10 years and now I don't own a laptop, which is, so cool. So I decided to give away one of my Tumi bags, um, a messenger Tumi bag. I decided to give that away along with the laptop and all that stuff. And I decided to change things up a little bit. And that's what I want to show you here in this video today. So right here, as you can probably see, I'm already got it strapped on right here. Um, this little bit, this little baby right here, I'm just going to kind of go out just a little bit is the Tumi Arrive collection. All right. I'm going to actually give you a more close up uh, video of this, but this is the baby right here. It's a little open. And um, and let me just show you real quick what's inside. I'm kind of trying to do this with with uh, with one hand. <laughs> but let me show you what I decided to switch to. Um, instead of having a MacBook Pro, um, I decided to get this bag because it, it now carries my iPad Pro. That's what it's carrying. And uh, with the Apple II Pencil, by the way, which is phenomenal. It's a great, this is, this has been awesome. So I've now moved to a completely laptopless lifestyle and I've gone to only a, um, a, a, an iPad and a phone lifestyle. And of course I have the Mac mini for operations for uh, the day-to-day -day office, but that thing stays in the office. So I decided to get rid of the laptop uh, and move on from there. So I do all my uh, editing, meetings, creation, all that kind of stuff goes on the, the Mac mini and then phone and um, you know the iPad which is really great it's been it's been interesting because now I can do things you know even on the go and it's been by the way this has been a desire of mine for a long time but hey this video isn't about the iPad Pro it's about this bag right here it's the to me arrive which I want to show you that right now and share with you the features that I absolutely love about it so here we go ah, so here we are the to me arrive edition the Olten 
crossbody bag. We have a little bit of uh, descriptions here in multiple languages. And one thing I really like about this is the fabric. Um, this one does not have the leather on the base, but it just has it on the right side and the front here, but it doesn't have the leather base, which is not something I wanted. But this has the ballistic weave. It's like a, and also cowhide leather on the side. It's, it's just really phenomenal. The cowhide, you'll find uh, on the left and on the right and also the name tag and uh it's this it's just this quality that really i really love and there's you know the Tumi logo right there on the id tag and it's also magnetic so it actually like sticks to the bag which you'll find in a lot of Tumi products and inside still got the plastic on it uh inside and by the way i'm sorry i'm doing this all with one hand so you gotta bear with me here uh, but inside you have like signature pockets an open sleeve here you can put whatever you want uh, passport if you need to uh, then you have the zipper privacy zipper pocket and then you have the main spot which is this is where i put my ipad pro uh, and you can feel the quality right in the lining i mean it's just the stitching is phenomenal also you can stamp your name on it <laughs> that's it i usually i haven't done that with this one yet but i'm probably going to as soon as i get to a to me store have them do that, but you can definitely feel the quality in this leather here on the sides. Then inside, have your you know, serial number for the product, also with a QR code. And this is a key chain holder, key ring holder, which is nice. Actually, I'm gonna put this right on uh, the keys that I unfortunately have to carry around in my life. I look forward to the day where I don't have to carry keys in my life, that would be phenomenal. Feel the cow leather here, it's really nice. And it's got a nice clip, strong metal clip. All right, so on the inside now, we have basically two pockets. We have one as a security pocket and the other one as like a business card uh, pocket holder. It's pretty deep, it's got some good, I actually don't even fill this whole bag up by the way. All right, so now I wanna show you exactly where you can get your uh, Tumi bag. You can either walk into a store, which is not so easy to do right now. <laughs> so you can definitely go onto the website, which is tumi.com. You're probably gonna notice that it says United States. However, I'm not in the United States, but you can choose wherever you want in the world. I'm gonna keep it on the United States so it stays English for right now, but if I'm sure if I was to change this to Portugal, it's probably gonna be in Portuguese. So let's go back and <laughs> let's stay in the United States so right now so I can read it and show you exactly where we can find this bag. Jumping onto the main site. You, there, By the way, there's a whole bunch of Tumi products on here that I Highly recommend you check out their website. And uh, one of the things I've been so happy about, I was actually just talking about this today, is I have a Tumi backpack that I absolutely love. I actually bought the same bag twice um, over the years because I loved it so much. So it's it's definitely worth it. So you can go check out their luggages from carry-ons to garment bags and all that stuff. Backpacks, bags, um, and accessories. Go down here. Then we're gonna go down to product type. We're gonna go to cross bodies, all right? And then, we're gonna go into the collection. It's the easiest way to do it, is gonna be the Arrive, okay? And you're gonna see the the Lions version and then the Olten version. And there's, what's the difference, Nathan? Well, let me show you, the Olten version is what I just showed you, okay? You just saw the ins, the outs, and what it looks like, and all that good stuff. It comes in one color, by the way. You can get it in multiple colors. Um, and this, this is the version I just showed you. So it's got that one spot. Oh, I never thought of putting a phone there. That's a great idea. That's that version. I want to show you the differences here between the Lions version. Under the same collection, by the way. So in this collection, also in the color black, but you're going to see a difference in on the inside um, right here. So it basically has this extra pocket back here. So this is if you want more space. Now, this is a little bit bigger. So you can see here that th this is the pocket that I use for my iPad Pro. They have an additional pocket back here if you want to put your iPad back there. Personally, I don't want I didn't want that much space. Okay? It still has got the front, there's the back. It is a little bit wider in size, but I didn't want this extra space back here for an iPad because it would just be a lot a little bit bigger. I don't need all that space, so I throw the iPad right in this one in this pocket and it makes perfect sense for me. So I would recommend you jump over 
to the Tumi uh, website, T-U-M-I.com. And there you can check out their whole line of, of bags and backpacks. And I'm not sure if you're aware of this, but I'll let you know that one, if a product ever like breaks down, a zipper bust or anything like that, they repair your product. Um, depending on the warranty, they can repair your product for free. So you might want to check out their warranties and what, what they offer for you. There's been times where you know parts of my older bags have you know had issues and um, they fixed it for free. Another great thing is all their bags are limited edition, um, so you cannot get these bags any other way or time in the future um, unless you want to get a secondhand one. Um, but these are all limited edition bags. They only make so many of them, and. They're, I don't know if you knew this as well, but they have patents on their zippers. <laughs> the way they design and the designs, the zippers and the designs are protected by patents and uh, it's just a very unique um, brand. And you'll see that in the quality and uh, the texture when, you, when you're feeling these products. They're absolutely great. So that's my review. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did like this video, also check out the links in the description and uh, that will help us out. So I was outside cleaning my truck. Yes, I still clean my truck. Lo and behold, FedEx comes, and guess what's inside? Let's see here. Oh yeah, my first check, you guys. Can you see that? $34,000. You can do this. I believe in you. All right, give yourselves a round of applause. With the Fearless Millionaire Program, and I, before taking the program, I was having trouble being comfortable on the phone. You know, knowing what to say to people um, and just putting more money in my pocket. And I can honestly say, I am fearless. Jangan lupa